Yo, what is going on everybody? It is me Ryan here and today I'm finally bringing you guys my Q&A session I held on Twitter. I know I didn't give you guys on YouTube much notice, but that is another reason most of you guys should follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description down below. It is at HD1509. Uh, you'll catch up. You'll get to play with me sometimes. That sounded pretty wrong, but you know what I mean. At NHL I'm talking, so. Or sometimes Call of Duty, stuff like that. Anyways, so like I said, I was holding a Q&A and I got, I think, around 25 questions, so I'm going to answer as many as there were, basically. So, first question, let's hop into it. Who is your favorite hot player of all time, whether it's NHL 12, NHL 13, 14, or 15? Alright, I actually had to put a lot of thought in this one. I was thinking there's a bunch of options I had in my mind. Brian Boyle this year, uh, Carl Hagelin from NHL 14, but out of all of them, I would have to say my favorite player, honestly, uh, Darren Helm. Darren Helm. He's been solid throughout all my games. Uh, whether it's, he said to kind of choose one, but he's just been so good every single year. Hagen's really close, Hotlife Boyle's really, really close. Uh, team of the Year, if I had to choose one player from one year, I would say it's Team of the Year Carlson from NHL 14, but through all the years, uh, the greatest player for me throughout them has been Darren Helm, easily. Alright, next question. Uh, this one's from Tactics, a fellow YouTuber. I'm sure most of you guys know him. Anyways, he said, how was meeting the boys in Toronto? So if you guys didn't know, EA hosted an event where they flew a bunch of YouTubers from around Canada, and they even offered out of the US too, uh, to an event in Toronto where they got to look at the game. They look, got to look at NHL 15 early, play it, uh, give their suggestions, and basically meet all the other YouTubers. So, uh, although I didn't get, did not get invited to this event, I know a lot of people that did, and some of my friends, like, online, I guess. So, uh, me and Matt, we live in Hamilton, so Matt was an old guy who used to post on this channel anyways, we're good friends. Uh, we decided to go to Toronto and meet a bunch of you guys, and that was awesome. Yeah, I honestly had a really good time, you know? You think you know someone over the screen, I guess, but uh, it's completely different meeting them in person, and honestly, it was a really good time. I'd like to see all those guys one more time. This question is coming from Kyle Haynes. Why are you a Sens fan in brackets? I am too. Hashtag Ask Diego. So, uh, basically, me being a Senators fan, just as I was young growing up, everyone, basically, in my family was either Leafs or Habs, and you know what? I wasn't taking none of that. Didn't like those teams. Had to go with my own, something like nobody else in my family really likes them. I'm the only one I get picked on all the time because everyone else is fans of uh, other Canadian rivals, but. I've been having none of it. I just love the Sens. I don't know why, honestly, it just came to me, and I feel like that's the team you gotta go with, the one that just finds you. This one's from Try Hard Lettuce or Joey. Do you plan to start streaming again? Ah, uh, yes, I actually do. It's just hard to find time. I do, like, I don't work every day, but I do work a lot, and the times are kind of weird. Where most people work 9 to 5, I have, I work at a restaurant, if you guys didn't know that, and so the hours are kind of messed up, and when everyone's home from school, I'm at work, basically, and it's just, it, doesn't leave me with a lot of time to stream for a big audience, I guess. That's the reason why I've been slacking lately. This one is from Nuge TV. Ask Diego, what's your go-to late night Don's order? So if you guys don't know what Don's is, first of all, it's McDonald's and uh, they, they make some good food. So uh, I, I honestly don't have one. I like to switch it up. But if I had to choose, I would get a plain McDouble, just the cheese and the burgers, a poutine and a chocolate milkshake because that is delicious. And honestly, that meal is just the bomb.com. Let's be real. Alright, I have two questions here from the same person, Kaner, the King Kaner. Uh, what made you start YouTube in the first place, and why did you stop YouTube towards the end of 14? So, I kind of put these two questions together because they are similar. They're, I guess in a way, completely different, but it's the same context. So, uh, what made you start YouTube in the first place? So, it's actually kind of weird. Uh, me and Matt used to play Game Battles, if you guys don't know what Game Battles is. It's a site for competitive gaming, I guess. Uh, we used to play NHL 10 competitively, and we were actually pretty good, but all the time, people would dispute the games, and we had no proof that we won because why would you take pictures every period it just it was too much work so I got a dazzle uh, recorder and when the NHL demo dropped we're like we should post some stuff on YouTube and probably get some views and it did it actually got a lot of views and it took off pretty fast so that is what made me start YouTube in the first place it was actually because of competitive gaming and uh, that's how I got the capture card and just snowball effect there and uh, why did you stop YouTube towards the end of NHL 14 I don't think I've really stopped YouTube I've definitely slowed down uh, just more stuff to do, um, that's basically it really. I still like to post, I just don't know what to post more. Uh, also another thing is in NHL 14 with, I had tons and tons and tons of pucks. Uh, this game I don't so much, so it's really hard to make uh, videos that are getting a lot of views. So that's why recently I'm trying to take a, t uh, I don't even know how to put this. I'm just trying to do my own thing and not care about the views as much as putting out solid content. So uh, you should be starting to see more videos from me coming soon. 
This one is from Will Petrie. I hope I pronounced that right. Do you have Snapchat and can I add it? Uh, yeah, I do have Snapchat and sure, if you want to add it, you can. I will flash the name up on screen right here. There you go. Pretty original name, actually. I can't believe I got it, but yeah, add me on that if you want to snap me. That's cool. This one is from UTP102 or Kyle. Can you decipher what Young Thug is saying? No. Nope. Not, not at all, actually. James Van Swagsdyke says, Your name is Diego, but I don't think you are Mexican. Well, do you have to be Mexican for your name to be Diego? And I'm not Mexican, so no, my name is not Diego. This one is from my uh, IRL friend, I guess. Connor, uh, what other types of games will you bring to your channel? And have you come out of the closet yet? Well, this is something I've wanted to talk to you guys about. On a more serious note though, what other types of games will you be bringing to your channel? Uh, me and him were actually talking about playing something called Duty Advanced Warfare. I know I mentioned that and a lot of you guys actually wanted to see that. So uh, maybe some of that if I ever get a good gameplay, but that's probably not going to be uh, for quite a long time. And also GTA 5 I was going to pick up and me and him were going to make some videos for that. So that should be pretty cool. Uh, let me know if you guys would like to see that. Next up, Ask Diego, can I get some pox? Sure, actually, if you want to list up the contract and go head over to hubhucktraders.com, you can get some pucks uh, from a cheap and reliable source. If you could meet up with one other NHL YouTuber for one weekend, who would it be? And on a scale of 1 to 10, how rowdy would you get? So, this is a hard question. I, I've got so many I would want to, but honestly, I think I would go with... Uh, Ooh, I think I'd go with Bacon, you know, the man is just so mysterious, I would totally meet up with him for one weekend, and on a scale of 1 to 10, how rowdy would you get? 10. 10. 10 all day. All day, 10. This one's from Don't Be Sod 20 how many cool ranch ones can you eat, and who is the best player in biceps and triceps? Well, actually, I think I'm gonna test out the cool ranch one time, maybe I'll post a video on that. I'm pretty sure I could hammer down, like, at least 6 or so, probably more, but... Let's say six to be on the safe side. Seven. Seven is actually a good number. Um, and who's the best player on biceps and triceps? If you guys don't know what biceps and triceps are, uh, me and Saad used to have a club, and I don't even know who else was in it. I, we had like every YouTuber in it at one point, but um, me, easily. That's not even a question. I don't know why you would ask that. Buy anything from Sport Check lately? LOL. Ask Diego. Hashtag childhood memories for me. Haha. <laughs> So there's actually quite a cool backstory behind this. Uh, this guy, I was actually in sport check at my uh, local mall. I'm not gonna say what it is, but some of you guys may know. Uh, I was at my local mall and I was actually in sport check looking at hockey sticks with my friend. And uh, this guy, he was with his dad in sport check and they were trying on skates or something like that. And he, he asked me, he's like, hey, do you have a YouTube channel? And I'm like, mm, no, I don't actually. I, I don't know why I tried to play it off, but I was like, nah, I don't have one. And uh, like a minute later, the guy comes up to me with one of my live streams and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, that's me. I was just playing around. It was just so weird. Like I didn't know what to do in that circumstance. It was just, I don't know. It kind of made me uncomfortable. I was just not expecting it at all. But anyways, he was a cool guy to me. And uh, that's something I'll basically always remember. This one's from Jake Dugmore. What is your favorite food? Hashtag Ask Diego. So my favorite food, easily without a doubt, chicken strips. Most of us just think on the planet. Like I don't see how you can't like it. It's chicken strips, deep fried, and it's just the most delicious thing ever. That's why that is my favorite food. Nick Saville, number ninety-one. NHL fifteen or NHL fourteen? Ah, honestly, I think I would go with NHL fifteen. I like it. I actually kind of, sometimes, uh, not really, but you know what, I can deal with it. Uh, 14 had the ASHL though, that's kind of why I would go with that, but no, honestly, gameplay, NHL 15, fun, I would say NHL 14. Can you say the alphabet backwards? Um, actually, yes I can. Uh, Z-Y-X-W-V-U-T-S-R-Q-P-O-N-M-L-K-J-I-H-G-F- E D C B A. That's right, right? Final question of this QA, Rihanna Hutt. Did you start your YouTube channel playing Halo? I actually did, and uh, I guess I was wrong then with the um, start of it being 
NHL 11, but that's basically when the actual start of my YouTube career uh, started, I guess you could say, but this channel actually was a Halo channel. It was before uh, me and Matt started posting NHL, actually. I recorded with a camera with my other friend, uh, and we played some Halo. Yeah, we showed like hiding spots and cool jump spots. It was pretty cool, but um, nothing to what it is today. So. And that is it for this Q&A. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Let's try and hit 150. That would be awesome. And uh, let me know if you guys want me to do more of these. If you guys have any questions in general, just tweet them at me. And most of the time, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you guys want me to do another one of these, let me know as well. That is all for now, boys. We will see you next time.